played with Engine Down, I think their first show in Harrisonburg. Is it their first show? For one of their first shows. We they played with them played. one of their first shows in Philly with 400 years. Mm, I remember that. Started. Even before the label started, it was mail order. I was helping Brian doing design for the ads that he'd run in different uh, fanzines and whatnot. And then when he actually started the label, doing ads for that, and then kind of started it, uh, kind of help him find some bands. Basically, since I played in a band, you know, my, I tended to uh, run in more uh, circles with uh, musicians and whatnot, and the bands for us would play with at the time and stuff. So. Uh, I'd suggest bands to to Brian, one of them, Sibby Time Trio. For a while, I was a little more active with, uh, you know, talking to the bands and organizing the the A and R sort of thing that Love It does. Even though I wouldn't say that Love It does anything quite like it, because it's more of a more of kind of like a Discord uh, aesthetic where everyone's kind of friends and they know each other. We made uh, 400 years of mugs because they really wanted mu like a different sort of merchandise to sell on tour. You know, everyone had t-shirts, blah, blah, blah. They wanted travel mugs, so we made uh, 400 years travel mugs. And the thing that I wish we would have done <coughs> that we spoke about was uh, 400 years travel mugs, engine down toothbrushes, you know, sleepy time trio, dental floss, Frodus, uh handy naps. You know, we just, we never continued that. We just did the, the travel mug. And if, unfortunately, I think Brian still has uh, the travel mugs because they just didn't sell that great. And uh, well, oh, uh, a neat little, neat little fact that we didn't go on. Oh, dude, that's insane! What the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs>